All right, so let's now look at uh, how to route to these particular pages. Okay, so let's go back and remove our components here. Um, we're going to delete uh, this component, my name, and then create a new one. I'm going to call it uh, my app. Oh, let's let's call it. Okay, let's call it my app. Uh, let me give it some fancy name. So my app. I'm going to give it uh, my app dot tsx. So please remember that tsx is a uh, TypeScript uh, React TypeScript uh, extension. It is a React uh, file, but uh, in TypeScript. All right. Let's let's give you the uh, CSS. My app dot css okay so like we did for the others you're going to import from these tensor core components the creator i'm going to use it components and then provide some options so the tag is going to be called my app the style URL is going to be called my app for the CSS let's now export Sorry, export the class called my app. And let's render. So the render function is going to return let's give it a h1. Our first stencil application. Now, let's go somewhere. Um, let's go to here. And then now you can see that uh, there is a bundles uh, property on the config object here and this bundles helps us to bundle uh, component together for lazy loading so the, the, the advice here is that uh, group uh, components that belong together into a particular object. So for example, we will group our pages into one component bundle here. So page about and page Contact. Now, uh, remember that the, 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 we provided the tag URLs of our component. We provided the tag URLs of our component. That's what we pass. Let's also create a bundle for our uh, main um, component. Does uh, the the 
my app component. Okay, so we have two groups of components. All right, now the collections here, uh, here we in the collections is an, an array of uh, third party stencil libraries. So for example, we have the stencil router, which is a, a stencil library. And by default, it's been included for us. It's been actually added to the uh, dependencies and being built uh, installed so we can use it and that's what we'll be using uh, so the the stencil router comes with several components that we will use specifically in the my app component yes to do routing you do the, your routing inside your main uh, component the one that is rendered in the HTML file. So let's rather let's let's put that here my app and that is it. And here we are going to put our stencil routing component where uh, the uh, routing will, will take place all right so let's start so in the documentation we are we see two components tensor router and tensor route uh, and uh, there is one other here this tensor route link we are going to use the three of them uh, quickly so the tensor route it says you you should have one single tensor router Component in your project. This component controls all interactions with the browser history and it aggregates uh, updates through an event system. So let's the the, the system stencil router is going to uh, include our stencil route and each route will render a particular component. So let me just show you stencil router. Let's go uh, stencil router. And uh, let's give it a mm, let's give it a an ID. Call it main route. Okay. All right, and also we're going to add this tensor route, which we're going to provide a URL and the uh, component. Now, we can have an array of URLs where uh, two URLs can point to the same component. All right, so let's, yeah, but before we continue, I'm going to um, put our, Everything of ours inside an ion app. Yep. So make sure you do that. Ion app component. Okay. So inside here, we're going to stencil route. And we're going to pass the URL. We're going to slash and the component. We're going to be page home. All right. So we repeat for. Uh, the two, but uh, we're going to do something here. Um, take, uh, uh, an array. I'm going to try if it works. Um, so about a 
about us. I may be wrong. Right. Uh, do the same for contact to contact and then contact us. Ooh, yep. Uh, so we have this. Let's see if we get uh, some errors. Um, I don't think we will get any error, but... Oh, it says component tag, page contact is defined in the bundle, but not... No matching components. Um, let's see how we named the component. Yeah, we named it contact, so that's it. Okay, now we are going to use the stencil route link and this component render length that when we click will route or go to a particular location and render a particular component and um, we, we will provide the URL uh, to to where it should it should go. So let's do that. All right. URL is going to be. Slash Okay, let's do about let's do contact let's do contact about and home. One thing I want to do here is also provide uh, an exact uh, property and then tell it to be true. Yep, so when we check the, uh, the documentation, it tells us that if true, then only render this route when the URL matches exactly that location. So we will uh, render exactly uh, we render the home page exactly when the route goes to this yeah when it's this that's for slash okay um let's wait for it to finish compiling let's check if we did a good job um if we have some errors we'll fix them Okay, 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 all right. So our first stencil app, stencil application. Stencil is the, so you see our um, homepage was loaded as the default component since uh, the route is slash here. Okay, now we have the three uh, links. Let's go to about, let's go to contact. Whoa, so we don't see anything there. When we go back to home, we see something. Let's, let's see. Okay, yeah, so I had to bring the slashes. Uh, all right. Okay, let's, uh, sorry, let me fix this one as well. Okay, so I think we are good to go let's uh, check let me see oh compiling has been done so take note that the 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 the, the best way to provide a link to a particular uh, component or uh, yeah is to use a stencil route link 
which has a very nice, uh, very nice properties. And then it has an active class property where you provide the um, class that you want applied or you want added to that link if the the URL has been navigated to. So that maybe you can do some styling by showing some uh, background color to indicate that that route has is being active or has been uh, routed to. Uh, there is one other used to do a uh, redirection. Um, so you can take a look at it later. Okay, our app is almost there. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's go to the about contact, and so it seems we don't, which we mean that uh, what we did regarding the array might be uh, wrong. I think so. So, well. What we would do um, here is to rather change this to an object containing the array, which is the right way to go about it. Sorry for that. Okay, so an object with an array of the route. Yep, so this is it. Let's see, contact. So, wow, that's it. So, our now our navigation. Okay, okay, okay. I made a, I made some testing here too. So, let's change it to about and let's change this one also to contact. So, navigating to uh, the about and contact should now work for us. Let's go to our app. And, uh, let's check. All right. Everything is on. Okay. So initially, because I indicated that the contact should go to home page, it's been, it went to the home page. But because I later made a change, it's been uh, reloading and now it will go to the contact page that's it so let's go back to about and it work home it work about it work and contact and it work so that's it well there were, there were some issues but we got there we were able to navigate to a particular route and display a specific uh, component so that's it, that's how to do routing in stencil.js. Watch it again and get a handle of it and use them in your stencil apps.